Unite on top beam. We'll see which one of these oversized monstrosities truly has wings. Next up, we haul some chairs. And finally, objective, survive. Hello ladies and gents, welcome to the ski hill. Now it looks like your average ski jump, mind you, but there is a massive gap in the middle, roughly 100 meters. And our three contestants are gonna have to do their best to maintain their line down the ramp, hopefully not flip on the way down, clear the massive gap, and finally gracefully land on the other side, which is completely iced over. Our first contender is the 2021 capsule bus. And although it's weighed down by a full load of 76 dummies, this is for science. It should be a good contender. Next up, we have the DT40L City Bus, which does not have any passengers, because that's not an option. And it's more brick-like and less sleek than the finely designed capsule bus, so we have to give it some sort of advantage. In this case, it's going to be weight. And finally, we have the Gravel T65 Cargo Box Upfit, which is less brick-like than the DT40, but still less aerodynamic than a steel-toed work boot. We'll see how that goes. Oh my god, this is going to be so comical. Look at this thing. <laughs> Here we go. Are you ready? Uh oh. Oh, that's a problem. Oh, we're okay though. It's okay. We're fine. We lost the tire. Just keep it straight. Oh, we're not even gonna make it. <laughs> well, been a nice flight. Oh! And that will do it for the capsule bus. At 140 meters, not bad. Not bad at all. Let's say 155. All right, next up we have DT40L City Bus, unit number 2905. Hopefully it can muster a little bit better of a flight because that 155 meters by the capsule bus was a little dismal, but here we go. I'm gonna do this full throttle because just like the capsule bus, we launched a little. We got a little hectic, so we gotta keep this fair. Oh, that's a lot. Oh, things are gonna blow up. Oh, oh, we might make it. <laughs> Maybe not quite. Oh, this was detrimental to the distance. As the resulting impact with the actual ski jump landing has put it back at 100 meters. I reckon if that wasn't the case, I might have done 200 plus. Tragic. Tragic for the city bus. And finally, the gravel T65, which, after seeing the city bus nearly flip over going down, I have a bad feeling this might happen. This this might flip over on us. Here we go. Oh boy. We have lost all steering. I've miraculously saved it. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Don't scrub too much. And we're off. What? Oh my god, I made it. <laughs> She's gonna slide for a while. This is entirely ice on the landing. Absolutely smashing the 100 meters of the DTL city bus. Absolutely smashing the 155 meters of the capsule bus. We have gone a full kilometer. 1100. When will it stop? <laughs> <laughs> oh 
Full brakes, does nothing. A kilometer and a half. We're still sliding. In fairness, we may have to go to the replay. It may have to be a result of where exactly this truck hit the ground. Not exactly sliding nearly two kilometers on its side. We come to a rest just past the 1800 marker. What a ride. What a rush. Upon further review, it has been determined that the gravel T-65 had first touched down at 140 meters and finally came to a rest after sliding for over a kilometer and a half. This makes the 2021 capsule bus the winner at 155 meters. Now on to the next event, a race only with a random finish line on every attempt, so we have to get this right pretty much the first time. It's us versus the computer in a race sponsored by Sofa King Furniture Store, because you're not relaxed until you're Sofa King relaxed. Now on to the event. Here we are in beautiful downtown West Coast, USA. We've been added the task of moving grandma's favorite armchair as quick as possible to the finish line without losing this cherished chair. We're driving the dismal Soliad Wendover, but thankfully it's the Sport SE trim. All right, going across town to the racetrack. Apparently grandma's at the racetrack and that's where she wants her, uh, her chair. Come on. Full lock on the brakes going through the corner. Oh, he almost lost his chair. Oh, can you swing wide enough? Man, there goes my mirror. AI is slowly creeping away. They're a real cheeky move there on the inside. Might be able to get a run. Got a run on him here. Big sweeping turn. Oh, clip the trailer. Clip the trailer again. The chairs are flying everywhere. AI has crashed. Oh, no. Oh, this isn't good. The AI absolutely running away with it. We'll have the chair in tow, thankfully. As does the AI. We're already here. The AI has lost their chair. All we gotta do is make it. Come on. And we have done it. Grandma gets her chair. Welcome all to Hirochi Raceway and the figure eight configuration. We have nine computer cars versus us. And our objective isn't exactly winning, it's can we simply survive all eight laps? Given there are 10 cars and eight laps, I figure with a rough calculation, we have about an 8% chance of success here. So stick around for the inevitable 92% rate of failure and uh, enjoy the race. Let's get to the starting grid. All right, here we go, the main event. Gotta keep in mind, this is not about winning. This is just about finishing. This will be a battle of survival. If we can take out some of these guys in the process, that'd be really good too. Whoa! Whoa! Gonna get collected. Oh, that was close. Oh, that hurts. That's a stinger right on the side of the wheel. Should be okay. The hood's popped, but we're fine. We're still going to keep going on. Oh, here comes the crowd. Oh, what a dodge. I can't believe we made it through the middle there. Multiple attempts for a lot of disaster. And here we go again. Going to have to make it quick. We're through. Somebody got smashed behind me, but that's okay. We're gaining on the old Bronco thing, whatever the hell this thing is. 
Here we go again. Into the foray. We're gonna make it through. We'll be a okay. Couple of cars dying now. This might end in tragedy. <laughs> Just clipped them coming through. A near miss. Might have been a good win for us though. Might have brought that guy down. I'm not sure. We'll find out when we come around the corner. Look at a blue BMW looking thing. He is stuck out in the grass currently. Looks like he's stuck on the wall. AI just can't simply do. The AI can't seem to find the reverse button. That's fine for us. Almost missing the turn. That'll cause a little time here. Hopefully we don't get T-boned. Nope. Somebody else did though. We are approaching the end of lap number four. Halfway there. It appears only three, four cars really remain. Five, six, whoa, geez, hey, where'd these guys come from? Oh God, oh, it could have ended all in tears. But yet we move ahead. How some of these cars are still running is beyond me. How is that thing driving? <laughs> it's not. We got a Hirochi Sunbeam that is seems to have some engine issues as we carry on. Lap six. Vehicle's pulling quite hard to the uh, to the left. Getting tricky to keep straight. That's all right. We're still going. At this point, it appears as if we're probably in the best shape out of everybody. <laughs> Which is a big bonus. As we come around the final turn for lap number six. Oh, another small collision in the middle between the sunbeam and whatever that car used to be. Just put it, how is this car still driving? Oh, he's trying to kill me, I think. Oh god, don't let it happen. Let me out. Get off. No. Oh no, this could be it. Oh no. This looks like the end, unfortunately. <laughs> Are you kidding me? This is how it all ends? This could be it. That beat the snot car is still going. What is going on here? Come on, put the car in reverse, you silly AI. Oh, I have completely lost steering. That's a problem. <clears throat> well, unfortunately, I think this is the end <laughs> of the race. Back to the studio. Well, we've learned today that if you want to fly the furthest, make sure you're using a bus that resembles time release capsules. Perhaps tie down your grandma's favorite chair when helping her move. And finally, a refresher course on Murphy's Law. What can go wrong, will go wrong. And on that bombshell, we must say goodnight, and thanks for watching. Goodnight.